All seven trains hit the light rail tracks on this first day of passenger service. An extra train was added because of the tremendous demand, but what happens once the novelty wears off? What happens when the riders break the law while riding the tide? Andy Fox lays down the law on light rail. You saw all those people right there. My first question to the head of security, what kind of security do you have on the train? That answer surprised me, and it might surprise you. Are there too many people on this train? Yes! Can you imagine after the novelty wears off if light rail enjoys this type of ridership? Over 200 people are on this train, but no one pays until August 29th. Think about it this way. People have paid $318 million for it. Right? So people have paid. So this is a little bit of giving back. And, uh, I think that's a fair deal. But who will make sure when it's time to pay for the train tickets that passengers pay? Not the driver. He's behind the glass. You know who's on the train to make sure you pay? No one. Light Rail's top security guy, Ron Edwards. We're going to have two fare enforcement officers throughout the whole system. They're not going to be on every train checking the fare. Then how do you know the people aren't going to try to rip you off? We really don't know. That's why our goal is to check everybody we come in contact with. It's pretty much an honor system. If there's a problem, Edward says there's a call box. We're looking for our patrons to be advocates, if you will. That's why on our trains we have the emergency, emergency call box, which directly communicates with the operator of the train. Standard operating procedures for that operator to make contact with our central command center. OCC will then communicate to our security staff. You get caught not paying a $250 fine. That sign there says no cigarettes, no eating, no drinking, no loud music, no dogs except service dogs. Get caught doing that? $250 fine. The biggest fine up to $2,500 include posting signs, littering, graffiti, obstructing or tampering with light rail passage, a $1,000 fine for begging, a $500 fine for drinking or blocking the aisles. But on this day, everyone's blocking the aisles. Who is happy to be on light rail? <laughs> Yes, uh, today was a happy day to be on light rail. Again, 20,000 riders today. The free ride continues until Monday, August 29th. Perhaps the most interesting riders today, guys, folks from Virginia Beach trying to perhaps push it in the resort strip to try to get light rail to go to Virginia Beach. That will be the next battle for light rail. A lot of people want to see it go that far. Yeah. They've well, been battling that yeah. since 1999. And a lot of people don't want to see it go that far. And they were out in force today saying, no, the, you know, the rail yep. stops Saw here that. in Norfolk. You know. Right. Well, okay. It'll be an interesting debate. It will. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks Andy. Man.